To create the background spin effect here in DaVinci Resolve, right click on your clip, make that a new fusion clip. We're then going to open it in Fusion. Uh, once you've got your clip opened in Fusion, hit Shift Spacebar. We're gonna bring in a Merge node. We're gonna bring a Transform node into Empty Space. Connect that Transform to the Media in One. At which point, we're gonna bring in a Polygon Mask. Again, into Empty Space. We're gonna connect that to our Transform. We're gonna go up here. We're just gonna draw a quick mask around our object. Something like that. Make sure to invert that mask. And let's bring that soft edge up quite a bit. We'll then go down to our transform node. Make sure that your pivot is about center with the object. We'll go to edges. We'll duplicate those. We're gonna go up to angle, right click on that. Modify it with anim curves. You would then go up to your modifiers tab. We're gonna change source to duration. We're gonna change the curve to easing. And for in and out, we're gonna change those both to expo. From here, we would go back down, hit shift space bar again. We're gonna bring in a motion blur. That motion blur selected, you're gonna come up here, right click on your motion blur, and modify those with anim curves. Go up to your modifiers. For transition, it's gonna be duration again. Again, with the curve is easing. Once again, for in and out, we're gonna choose expo. On this one, we will click off mirror. I'm gonna go back to my transform. I'm gonna change scale to minus 360. I'm now gonna add a motion trails node. Go up to trail length, right click, modify it once again with anim curves. Again, we're gonna go to modifiers, source, duration, curve, easing. In and out is going to be expo. Again, we will check off that mirror box. Take your motion trails node and connect it to the green point on your merge. Playing through your clip, you should have something like this. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials.